Welcome back to the reality, guys. I am your host, Billy Blinks. This is a good one, boys, because we are all together again. I have my co-host, Brian. And Kevin. Hello. The last few episodes where I was supposed to have Kevin with me, it felt like a Home Alone movie where like they're passing the bag down like Kevin's not here. Kevin's not here. Kevin's not here. And it gets to me and I'm like, Kevin! <laughs> but yeah, think that's a good one. But I am happy to have us all back together here. So if you, it's your first time, we love our preview specials on the reality guys. Uh, check back on our page. We've done ones for the past seasons of The Bachelorette. We did this past season of Survivor. And just this past week, our actual last episode, we dropped a preview for season 26 of The Bachelor, uh, which will premiere on January 3rd, Monday on ABC. Uh, the show that we are previewing, as you see in the title here, is going to be Amazing Race. This is season 33, boys. It is, though, the 20-year anniversary of Amazing Race. It's going to be the first season that we, as a show, cover. Um, I know Kevin's been a big fan of the show. Brian's never seen the show. I've seen the show back in the past when it kind of first original, when we were younger, came out. We were like in elementary, middle school. So I do remember watching it then. Um but for our preview specials, what we do is none of us have actually seen any of the information about the teams. I do find a preview special online. So again, we're using people.com. So we appreciate it. We'll have the link below. Um, but we are literally just going to look down, look at the teams blindly, discuss them as we go. And at the end, we are going to make a prediction on who will win. Um, if this is your first time, we've actually done pretty good on our predictions. We haven't gotten a winner correct yet. But on the last season of Bachelorette, I did predict who the next Bachelor would be. So, you know, we're getting there, getting pretty good. So hopefully we get a winner. We are a non-spoiler show as well. So none of us have any intel on any of this crap. And, uh, you know, in your comments and stuff, don't let us know. So, boys, we are seeing this. You can see the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on, hon. I have something else. This coming back after the, like, pandemic, I'm really kind of curious. How it's different. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But I mean, just with the amount of travel and stuff and going. Yep. COVID. So it began filming before the pandemic and then halted. So they had to restart it. So that'll be pretty interesting, too. I wonder if they'll show the pre pandemic stuff and then show them restarting the race or however that'd be They're pretty cool. That's actually that really interesting. That? Yeah, yeah. I just read that in the opening line there. All right. Team one <clears throat> Akbar Cook Sr. It's a cool name. And Sheridan Cook. It's a trap. <laughs> Admiral Akbar, I already like that. The pair from Martinsville, New Jersey, are married educators. Akbar is a principal. Sherry is a teacher who met in college playing D1 basketball. The couple has three kids of their own, dedicated to supporting kids in the community. Akbar started the Lights On program at his high school, which keeps the school open until 11 p.m. in order to help reduce student involvement in gun violence. Their biggest strength, their bond. We know each other, so we know how to keep each other out and keep each other going, Sherry said. Um, he seems oh, uh, cool. I love his name too, so that's a big uh, plus. Yo, one of my friends has you say no, story. Kev. No, nah. you see this gray part in his oh, hair. No, I have right. a friend like that who just like randomly has a gray splotch. I like it, yeah. I love it, but I you say that. they're not going to do good. Kev. That's like a great natural, you know what that is when like that happens to people? It's like a birthmark. Oh, is it really? Like, yeah, it's like genetic, oh. hmm. yeah. Okay, so um, I got to see more contestants. And that's a fact. Everybody can quote me on it. I, they seem like they get along. I'm going to put a lot of my picks based off who I think is going to get along at least the most consistently. That's going to be big in my in my book. And they seem like they would get along. They have wear matching T-shirts. Yeah, big. that's true. Big. I feel like they wear matching T-shirts and he wasn't forced to wear it. No, he looks yeah. genuinely happy to be wearing his matching T-shirt. Yeah. All right. Team two. Sandy. Taylor Green Jones and Isaiah. Oh, are these twins? Oh, no. 38, 31. Damn it. No twins yet. Oh, oh, husbands. That's why they have the same last night. There we there. go. Husbands Taylor and Isaiah from Portland, Oregon met on Facebook and have continued growing their digital presence after their wedding flash mob went viral. They're considering Amazing Race to be their second honeymoon and their strategy is to arrive under the radar. All right. I don't want that. They are also wearing matching T-shirts. 
Well, they, I mean, they're, I feel like they're told to do this at this point. But, I don't know this yet, Kev. <laughs> but I just don't want them to win for the, like, the selfish reasons they want to win. They want to have a fucking second fucking honeymoon. Uh, uh, so far, <laughs> I haven't seen any red flags yet. He's like to buy more land to make money to like miss the deficit that they lost in COVID. Get out of here, you two. I hope they, I hope we see the flash map. Raquel yeah. Moore. That's like, Dude, what if they had like a city by city plan special map? Flash play? mob in every place. <laughs> every place planned. Every that was the they that lost one. their first round because like they're riding on a scooter and a flash mob goes off and they have to leave it. <clears throat> Raquel Moore, 31, and Kayla Platt, 30. Here we go. Flight attendants from Chicago and Gulf Breeze, Florida. Raquel and Kayla are no strangers to travel, but the amazing race is still out of the comfort zone. The friends met during flight attendant training and aimed to use other people's judgments of them as a strategy. Being a girl is such an advantage when you use it in the right way, Raquel said. Oh, um, I want to. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Guy, if you look at it that way, the God. I want to get your guys' thoughts, but I'm out on them. Uh, they are not wearing matching T-shirts. Um, that's true. That's the one I question, Ali. How much uh, do looks matter in the show? They don't. They, they really don't. They don't uh, at all. I just didn't I know mean, as far as maybe getting like a taxi before somebody else, but like, yeah. no, like I, I have no idea. And that's like a stretch. What I just said there, that was. <laughs> uh, so that's why I think they are going to win it all. Um, <laughs> Kevin's our leader in the clubhouse. Uh, uh, I'm saying that in hopes that like I'm the one reviewer that sticks out for the one on the left, and she's like, I really like what you said. Yeah, she's cute. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't what know. Do you think, I'm, gonna, I'm probably not going to give my opinions until I see some okay. more. All right. So next team. So far, everyone's a yes. Dusty Harris, great name, yes. and Ryan Ferguson. These are brothers. These are brothers. Thirty-eight. Well, they don't have the same last <laughs> name. <laughs> oh, different dads. Best <laughs> friends, Dusty and Ryan from Columbia, Missouri, are ready to take on the world together. Ryan was wrongfully convicted of murder. He didn't commit. And ten sp- what? It spent 10 years in prison. He won an $11 million civil rights lawsuit with the help of making a murderer attorney. Ca- Wait, which one's the murderer? Wait, who? Ryan. They both murdered This each one. Other. Oh, he killed a guy. <laughs> yeah, he killed a guy. I might have to pick him. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. He's also rich. Absolutely. The true. Wait. Wait. The true meaning of makeup of making up for lost time, getting to see the whole world and seeing this thing through. I think that's important to both of us. Dusty said. Wow. That's really interesting. Oh, dude, wow. That's- we need to do a whole episode on this guy. Is the win. Yeah. I need to and get it. We need to try to interview this guy. Because dude. of federal reasons, like travel to a certain country, and they're yeah, penalized. Holy point. crap. Yeah, so the, the the murderer guy is definitely on the list. And um matching shirts. Which one's the murderer? <laughs> it's a little different, but the, that's close enough. The, oh, dude, the no. murder this is the murderer. Yeah, I mean that look one? at his eyes. They're not matching. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, Armande yeah. Mo Badger and Michael Norwood. Not brothers. Wait, this, they they better be. are these are these firemen? Oh, Singing police officers. Ooh. Mo and Mike it's from Buffalo are job. are singing police officers in New York, and they'll lead with personality and competitive spirit on season 33. Our strengths as a team are knowing each other, knowing how we think, Mike said. We've had to trust each other in some of the darkest situations of our life, Mike said. Mo added, I think that's going to help us out a lot. Yeah, like that time they didn't get that audition. How do they, how do you cops do on the show normally? Good. Yeah, I, I, not I, I, I like that they sing. I, I like that. I like to sing. Um, Norwood's shifty to too. Like he's like he can like get in and out of the bazaars. I think quickly. You know what I mean, Kev? Like when they're in them packed like marketplaces and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you know how um I was like referencing earlier is I always have like team names. What do you think they're gonna name the group of <laughs> murder? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I didn't know that. Give me something like he a redemption it, uh, tour, making up for lost time, some BS. Well, we, like got, that. we got we got the brothers, the murderers, the firemen. And the cops are gonna go after the murderers. 
Um, all right, we're moving on. Uh oh, matching. We're back. We're back. Oh, also matching. So this uh, half matching. They'll get like halfway through the season. Definitely different size t-shirts. Marianella Lulu Gonzalez and Marissa Lala Gonzalez. Oh wait, yeah. these might be twins. We're Identical not. twins. There we, there we got them. I called it. We're, we're playing. We're, we're playing Amazing Race Bingo right now. Identical twins Lulu and Lala from North Bergen, New Jersey, are radio personalities for iHeartRadio. Dude, we got a lot of famous people, yeah. and they have some secret skills that may come in handy. With a history of working at a hardware store and fluency in Spanish, the sisters may have a leg up on some competition. Big point. When you know another language helps a lot on this show. A about, lot. Bill, what about working in a hardware Well, I mean, when you're in the countries that <laughs> speak it. Yeah. Um, knowing the hardware store doesn't mean anything. Are you sure? Well, this is what I want to know is why is iHeartRadio going out of a hardware store? Being in the radio is a very competitive field. And so now I'm like, it's just another notch, Lulu said at the competition. They also said the twin language may be an advantage. Um, I mean, they'll definitely get it when they're in. Uh, they don't look I'm identical saying. to me. Do they're nocturnal. <laughs> nocturnal? Nocturnal twins. They only come out at night. Well, Maybe one of them. <laughs> they're vampires. Anthony Sadler and Spencer Stone, both 29. Look Public weird. speakers, Anthony and Spencer from Sacramento, oh, California, were victims of an ISIS terrorist oh, attack what? while traveling in Paris. Spencer rushed the terrorist and became known as a viral hero American. The childhood best friends turned their trauma into advocacy and become applauded names since. Spencer was named People's sexiest American hero in 2015. That Spencer, that guy, not the other. What the? Uh, first of all, not well, he matching. Must, uh, he's more sexy anyway. Look at that dude. He's like I like these the ones. This one, th so, a terrorist attack. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. The sexiest American hero. Like, how often are there? How many candidates are there for that? Well, I Probably think like a one, couple. One, Brian. It's not like he cannot be the most handsome serviceman or person that got blown up in 2015. Before we read what they did, these guys are 29. These guys look, I'm 31. They look way older than me. They look like they work in I an agree. office. I agree. Well, they also went through a terrorist yeah, attack. Well, this that guy, has years they life. guy got blown up. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry they look old to you, Brian. They just saved our country. All right, Kim Holderness and Penn Holderness. Oh, these people look great. They better be. Married. I was just gonna say, here's the father daughter combo. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're, they're married, definitely. <laughs> Kim and Penn from Raleigh, North Carolina, are former news. Wait, guys, former news anchors who turned their media success into a family career. Now they're viral content creators with their two children. I think the Amazing Race will even show a different side of us. This is going to expose a lot. These people are just clout chasing. They are not wearing matching shirts. I don't like them. Okay. I feel like he's probably he's had to deal with a lot. He's kind of introduced himself. Somebody pen said, holderness. Huh? Pen and teller, huh? Sounds like a Dungeons and Dragons character. I'm pen holder holderness. And he pen. looks like a. I'm pen and I'm Kim Holderness, and this is Raleigh at six. <laughs> right. Oh, no, nah, I'm, I'm moving on from these. Up oh, here, matching. We're back, boys. Arun Kuman and Natalia Kumar. This may be our father daughter. I got different last names. Father daughter duo. Uh, uh, Let's go. Father daughter duo. Arun and Natalia uh, from Detroit, the, Michigan. Have both had a competitive nature throughout their lives of dedicated their relationship to travel. I think I've prepared for this my whole life, Arun said. Arun grew up in India and has a driven in Indian traffic, according to Natalia. It's pretty clutch, actually. What other preparation do we need? She joked of their family's travel skills. Again, if they speak Indian, that can definitely help if they are make it to that leg in general. They Dude, always did you just make it bigger or something? No. Because now I can, like, two seconds ago, you just... I did not. Uh, now I can only see like the tip of the corner of the picture. Really? Sorry. Brian, yeah. are you seeing it the same? I'm perfect, man. Okay. I see this yeah, choice refresh or something. Oh, dude. All right. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I again I told you I, I think they'll get along well. And no, I, they won't. No, they won't. 
<laughs> oh, dude, Indian I father. My dad this weekend, and we drove from here to Pittsburgh. The you just get so frustrated with the dumbest things when it comes to parents. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that's a fair point. All right, next team. Uh oh, Caro Viweg and Ray Gant. Okay, not magic. Love Island <laughs> couple. Oh boy. Carol oh, and Ray geez. from Los Angeles and Tom's River, New Jersey are well versed reality TV. They first appeared in the first American season of the series. Good show. I don't actually recognize them. Uh, they're a long distance couple, so competing on the amazing race is a way for the pair to spend time together and also learn that you don't like each other. We're very passionate about winning that million dollars, Kara said it would mean so much. Yeah. But the couple before were, were the cloud chasers. Tom Whatever. Chasers. They think they could be competitive. All right. How, how do you? Uh, okay. You mean how do I know? I'm just guessing. I like her hair. Yeah. So I just kind of. Like and I feel like they could actually do well. You, and they've gone through like the whole process of like being on TV. a reality TV show. Part, like I, they definitely yeah. have a good shot. That's true. But then there's also the murderers. And the <laughs> murderers are the X factor. Like, the murderers are the X factor. Kev, you might know, do the Kev, this might be your, wild this might be your murder mystery season. Yeah, this, yes, yeah. yes, yes, Dude, yes. Like, he's like running up behind him, and all, he just pulls a spear out of nowhere. And gets I, I do behind. see that his tattoo does say King of Kings. <laughs> uh, this is Connie I, Griner and Sam Griner. They're a married couple, Connie and Sam from Charlotte, North Carolina. A couple of North Carolina people have been through their share of struggles in life. Sam's a high school football coach, clear eyes, full hearts, who was- took in <laughs> his leading quarterbacks as an honorary member of the family. He literally is Coach Taylor. Yeah. Uh, right, their I'm- strategy is to visualize winning the competition. It's going to be amazing to hear that. At the- Ooh, I kind of like that. Now, count them out. But it could be a hard O. Yeah, he could be like a Latarian. Wait, her name's Connie, too, like Coach Taylor. Oh, dude, hey, I don't Britain. know. I, I may go with the with, with the freaking um, with this uh, Friday Night Lights team. Yeah, it, I mean, okay. if he's got the attitude of Coach Taylor, I don't know how they would lose. <laughs> I mean, clear eyes, full hearts. Are you, are you really going to pick the murderer? I'm picking, so far, I'm leading my sink. The I'm, I'm leaning towards the terrace. He's not a terrorist. He's a all right. Well, that's it. All right. Well, that was it. That was it. All right. That was it. That was it. Although I do like that orange couple. All right. I'm just gonna scroll through quickly. Okay. We have Akbar and Sheridan Cook. They seem like they get along. He's really cool. They're both teachers slash principals. Uh, we have a husband and husband. They seem like they get along. Uh, wedding flash mob guys. We have the the attractive girls who um, who are flight attendants who said they're going to use their looks. Uh, Dusty and <laughs> Ryan the murderer. Uh, Wait, was it? Did they say what the other one was? Was he just a, a friend guy? of the murderer? Um, um, Armand, Mo he's Badger, a- Mo Badger, and Michael Norwood are the police that. officers that sing from Buffalo. Uh, we have Lulu and Lala, the twins from New Jersey that work for iHeartRadio. Uh, we have Anthony and Spencer. That's the terrorist attack victims and the sexy, sexy, hero. sexy hero. Then we have the Kim and Penn Holderness, who are the uh, former TV anchors who are now influencers with their children. It looks like probably on like YouTube or TikTok. Uh, we have the father-son Travelers, Detroit versus everybody. Then we have Caro and Ray, who are the people from Love Island, long distance relationship. And then we have Coach Taylor and Kali. <laughs> Dude, he looks like that one guy from the real world. Uh, um, Frank. Yeah, he does look like Frank a little bit. I hope All to right. God, I hope to God this this news anchor thing, their team name is Nightly News. Please, please. Oh please. my God. All right, Kev, you have first, you have to get picked first. It's your first um, preview special. Who is going to win the amazing race? I'm going with. I'm going with. The firemen. No. The police officers. 
The police officer. <laughs> so you're going with Mo Badger and Michael yeah. Norwood. That, okay. So, That's fine. Are you going with them too, Brian? Um, well, if we're going to do one differently, who are you going to take, Bill? I'll let you, I'll concede to you. Taking the murders. <laughs> I want to so bad. Um, are you taking Coach Taylor? I'm taking Coach Taylor. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Give me the murderers. Yeah! Let's then, go! Uh, dude, I favorite. was really close between the terrorists and um, the reality <laughs> the people. Terrorists. Can we, um, so who's going to be our like backup? All right, so yeah, who is our... Who's our team? Who's everyone's backup like we had for... Um... It should be one. It should be one. And they, oh, no, this isn't Kevin's there. first one. He did the Survivor one because he had... Yeah, a no, no, no. Team. I meant like we, we have... I know. Who's our team is the backup team? It's yeah. either the, the, the terrorists... Yeah. Or I kind of also do like the news team. <laughs> no, no, dude. They have no shot. They it's not no even shot. about them being good. It's just about who's like our backup. All right, who do you guys want the backup team to be then? It should uh, be the reality guys. Or or I do like the, the beginning couple. No, no. No, <laughs> Kevin's a dude. Those, uh, those can be our deep threat. So the reality oh, ones are man. these are the re- so which the reality ones as in these people. They're no, not the gonna win. Ones are the reality They're people. not. They they these people are the ones that are influencers. <laughs> the the iHeartRadio or the twins. No, those, those those ones. Those ones. Oh, Love and Island. Orange. Love Island. Oh, the Love Island people. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. All right, all right, all right. So Kevin gets the cops. Brian gets the murderer. And I get Coach Taylor. Damn, I really want the nightly news team to advance. I want to see them. I want to see them every week. Do you think they'll Ooh. call? Coach and our Taylor? backup is the Love yeah. Island team. I love it. All right, so cool. This is solid. I even see that. I'm excited. What? Yeah, Kev. Do you think they call Coach Taylor's team? The I hope so. Dylan Panthers. Oh my god! If they say Friday Night Lights, or refer to it at oh. all in the first episode. These I'm just Panther pop. lines. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, oh, if he calls so them happy. like we're Dylan or we're FNL. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be so classic. <laughs> okay, so um, we here are really excited to cover Amazing Race for the first time. So, just a little bit of a heads up, we'll release this, and then next we may also have an episode for the challenge All Star Season Two later this week. Um, but then next week, you're going to see a bunch of premieres. So you're going to have the Bachelor premiere, you have the Amazing Race premiere. Um, and then, like I said, we'll continue our coverage with the challenge and anything else we may be covering. But the ch- uh, having Bachelor and Amazing Race is a really good start until we get to Survivor in March. So yeah, I'm what really- about that other show? Oh, I like it. Um, the sing- I, in Singles Inferno. It is a Korean show. Um, where it has, it's kind of got some like exile island type of thing, and you have to, it encourages you to become a couple, but it's got the really bad lip syncing, and it obviously cannot go word for word for Korean to English. So, some of the compliments and the things they say are just outrageous. And there's also a like, they cut back and forth to like people like us that's like a, but the same people, they're basically like judges. Oh. Watching and commenting on the people the whole time, <laughs> dude. Oh, I've wow. seen shows like there's oh. like a reality or like a real world show of people watching people on a real world. It's like and Mystery it's Theater Three Thousand. That's awesome. And they're all just like sitting on a couch. Such a that's really cool, brilliant idea. Of it. I'm gonna watch that, Bill. So we can. Yeah, we should. It's dropping over the next three weeks. So I think there was like four or five episodes on this first batch. Then a new batch will be propping probably this week, and then there'll be a third batch of episodes. So we could even do like week one, week two, week three, yeah. and not try to kill ourselves on the um, sure. episode count. All right, cool. Um, if this is your first time, please like and subscribe. But if not, um, we appreciate you being back, and we will see you next episode, more than likely covering the challenge All Star season two. Myself, for Brian, for Kevin, peace. See you.